Hey y'all, today I'm going to talk a little bit about rapper Hussein Fadal. He was close friends with Tupac Shakur and a member of the Outlaws. Hussein Fadal was born Bruce Edward Washington Jr. on April 3rd, 1973 in Montclair, New Jersey. He grew up with Yaki Gaddafi, who was very close to Tupac. Pac considered Gaddafi like a brother. It was said that Hussein Fadal and Gaddafi were best friends. There was not a whole lot of opportunities, so they hustled to survive. One day, Gaddafi told Fadal of his closeness with Tupac. Fadal thought it was a joke until he saw it for himself. Hussein Fadal's sister, Sarah Washington, said in an interview that from her understanding, how Hussein got to meet Pac was when Pac was in jail. Gaddafi's mom sent Fatal a message through Gaddafi that Tupac wanted to meet him, to talk to him. They had a meeting and Tupac wanted to start this group when he got out of jail, the outlaw movement. The two originals would be Gaddafi and Fatal. It was said that Tupac wanted to start two groups. Him, Gaddafi, and Fatal would be the outlaws. But later that changed and they all came together and became the outlaws. There were 10 original members of the outlaws, including Tupac as Machiavelli, Hussein Fatal, Castro, Napoleon, and more. In February 1996, Tupac released his album, All Eyes on Me, which was his highest selling album. Hussein Fatal appeared on the songs All About You with Snoop Dogg, Gaddafi, Nate Dogg, and Drew Down. He was also in the song When We Ride from that album. His name was chosen to evoke Iraqi President Saddam Hussein. In June, Fatal was featured on Tupac's song, Hit Him Up, insulting Tupac's rivals. Fatal was also featured in the song Hail Mary from Tupac's Machiavelli album that was released on November 5, 1996, after Tupac's death. Allegedly, Shook Knight wanted to sign Fatal and the Outlaws to Death Row Records, but Tupac did not want them to sign with anyone else. Allegedly, Tupac was about to start his own label, Machiavelli Records, and they were going to be the first group on the label. Fatal became very close with Tupac. Allegedly, Tupac would send him and Gaddafi back to Jersey when they were behaving too wild, but he would bring them back. Allegedly, at the House of Blues concert, Hussein Fatal tried to bring a gun inside and got caught. It was also said that Fatal accidentally crashed Tupac's new vehicle. From what I heard, him and Tupac had a lot of love and respect for each other. Hussein Fatal's sister, Sarah, said in her interview that according to her understanding, Tupac told them that he was going to back out of whatever record deal he was in, just to give him a minute, let him take care of some business, and when he takes care of his business, he's going to get them a proper record deal. She said he told them do not sign with anybody else, and only Bruce, who was Hussein Fatal, and Gaddafi listened. She said everybody else signed. Gaddafi ended up getting murdered after that. He got killed a month after Tupac's murder. She said Fatal chose to remain loyal and did not sign with anybody else. On September 7, 1996, Tupac Shakur was shot in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fatal had a court date on the East Coast, so he wasn't in Las Vegas when Tupac was shot. Fatal was feeling hurt about Pac dying. He said if he was there with Pac, it would have been different. After losing his two close friends, Gaddafi, who Fatal said in an interview that he was shot by one of the outlaw's cousin. Allegedly, this was Napoleon's cousin who did this. And I think I did read that he did serve time for that murder. Fatal also lost Tupac. He lost both of them within two months. Fatal gave up rapping during that time. He said he was fine just being around Tupac while he was here. He said months passed and people were coming to his hood trying to get him a record deal. He ended up getting a solo deal. Fatal also became a father in 1997. That's when his first daughter, his first daughter was born. 
Fatal was offered a contract with Relativity Records in late 1997. He accepted it and they released his debut single, Every Day, on March 17, 1998, and his debut LP, In the Line of Fire, on March 31st, under the name Fatal. Hussein had been dropped from his name. He later signed with Rapalot Records and began to work on his second solo studio album, Death Before Dishonor. He recorded over 40 songs before being arrested in December 1999 for an assault that happened three years earlier. Also in 1999, Death Row Records released Still I Rise, a collaboration album from Tupac and The Outlaws. Allegedly, they removed Fatal's verses from that album and put other members on there instead. The album he was working on before he went to prison, Death Before Dishonor, Rap-A-Lot Records released that album as Fatal after Fatal was paroled in 2002. In 2003, Fatal was featured on Ja Rule's album, Blood In My Eye. He performed on four songs, The Life, It's Murder, Freestyle, The Rap Freestyle, and the eponymous title track, Blood In My Eye. He also appeared on the remix of Ashanti, Rain On Me, and in Ja Rule's clapback music video. He was also releasing mixtapes on his own label, Thug Entertainment. He performed with other outlaws on their 2010 and 2011 mixtape. He also appeared on fellow outlaws member Young Noble's 2012 album, Son of God, on the tracks Emancipation and Welcome to Real Life. Hussein Fatal also started writing a book about his life called Journey with an Outlaw. The book was later released in 2019 by his family, I believe. On July 10th, 2015, Hussein Fatal died in a car accident on a Georgia freeway in Banks County at only 42 years old. He was a passenger in a black Dodge Challenger driven by Zanetta Yerby, when the vehicle crashed at around 2.30 a.m., allegedly. He was ejected from the vehicle. The Georgia State Patrol charged Zanetta with failure to maintain lane, DUI, no proof of insurance, first degree, the Hilliker homicide, and reckless driving following the crash. Hussein left behind some beautiful children. I've seen some posts that his daughter made on his Facebook. It broke my heart reading it. One of the posts from 2018 said, Hey, Daddy, I'm in eighth grade now. Just wishing you were here. Love you always, Aceta. Rest in peace, Brother Fatal. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.